Welcome back into your Alaska. Joe Cook here with your local Thursday sportscast. Former Nanak and three-time Olympic medalist Matt Emmons increased his stock to make another U.S. Olympic team. Yesterday, Emmons earned a silver medal at the men's prone event at the International Shooting Sports Federation World Cup in Gababala, Azerbaijan. His score is 628.3 points, gave him his fourth World Cup medal this season. He is in a good position to make the U.S. team. The U.S. Olympic team nominations will be submitted next month. The 2016 Olympic Games will be in Rio de Janeiro. The Hutchinson Hawks had one of their own sign a national letter of intent on Wednesday evening. Daniel Page signed to play for the Yellowstone Christian College Centurions in Billings, Montana. Page leaves this Sunday. He intends to major in broadcast journalism. Page is the fifth Hutchinson athlete to sign a national letter of intent and the second signing from the boys' basketball team. Page averaged 12 points per game for the Hawks, who advanced to the state tournament for the second time in four years the last season. The cool thing about the Yellowstone program is that they will be playing their very first year of basketball at the school, which is in the National Christian Collegiate Athletic Association. When I decided to go with this one because it fit better money-wise, and I was I was looking forward to going to a Christian college because that's how I was brought up throughout my life as Christian. It is a newer program, and they asked me to be a part of it, and I'm, I'm willing to do that. And there's not very many big guys in it. They do have a few that are that are quite big, quite bigger than me. I would probably be one of the smaller players on the team, if not the smallest player. But I'm looking forward to it. In the 2015 Interior High School Volleyball season is exactly one week away. Teams will be in non-conference action next Thursday night. In the MAC Conference, the West Valley Wolfpack returns Stella Knox, Ruthie Hebert, and Kaya Campbell. The Wolfpack come in with six straight conference titles. North Pole and Lathrop will be in contention this season as well. The Patriots met West Valley in the MAC final a season ago. The Mono Rams, they will try to duplicate a special season. Last year, they went 19-0 in the regular season. They finished as the 3A state runner-ups. Emily Fister, Giselle Hollis, and Kiana King will be the big three for them. Hutchinson lost a slew of talent to seniors from last year, and they're in a bit of a rebuild. Allison, Delta, and Galena make up the rest of the Aurora Conference. The first game of the 2015 season will be between the Latham Malamutes and Monroe Rams at Boilu Hall at 7 p.m. next Thursday night. Last but not least, we end our high school football team previews with the defending small school state champion, Allison Ravens. They're not resting on their laurels this season. Here's more. The Allison Ravens come into the season in the crosshairs of their opponents. Allison completed a perfect season running the table and winning the small school state title. However, they don't want to get caught up in the hype of a title defense. We don't start on top of the mountain. We, we get down there with everybody else and we, we fight and claw and scrap our way to the top. You know, we've got seven seniors this year, you know, and most of those guys were on that 2012 team uh, as freshmen. And then they saw kind of that, that drop in 13. And I think they're they're really aware that they don't want that type of thing to happen. If you know, if we're beat by a better team, we're beat by a better team. But they don't want it to be because we didn't do the things that we can control. The Ravens return a solid core of players from last year, but arguably one of the best backs in state history, Anthony Griffith, graduated. So how do you replace the state record holder in most yards in the game? By committee, seniors Andrew North, Caleb Velez, and Caleb Dunlap will carry the load this year. When our line opens our gaps, it's our job to burst through the gap and make sure we get to the end zone or, yeah, just bust people's legs or something. We just have to make sure we push ourselves till we get to the end zone. Defensively, Ileson has all the confidence in the world. Antonio Griffith is one of the top players in the secondary. Dunlap will lead the linebacking crew, while Chris Kilpatrick and Dylan Scarborough will patrol the line. This year, we want to, we really about swarm and punish, like 11 helmets on one man. I think we're looking really good. We had a practice the other day. It was pretty sound. The coach said it was better than offense that day, so that was good to hear. We watch a lot of film. We try and learn all their plays. We have to recognize what they're going to do. We call it out, two round, two round, two round. and we just work out here and try and get better. The Ravens begin their 2015 campaign Friday night at home against the Thunder Mountain Falcons. Joe Cook reporting. This Friday night will be very special. Alaska will hold the very first high school football games in the entire country. And that's it for sports tonight. Thanks for watching. Mike Schultz is up next with weather after the break, and we'll catch you next time.